Saturday Night Theatre. La Tosca, the play by Victoria Sardou, translated and adapted for radio by Norman Ginsbury and Jacques Sarge. Maxine Audley plays Floria Tosca, Stephen Murray, Baron Scarpia, and Gary Watson, Mario Cavaradossi. The scene is Rome, the year 1800. La Tosca. I have no use for half measures. No, of course not that. Peter says I may have considered imprisonment sufficient. I don't. I am chief of police now, and I decree that Angelotti is to die. The Queen will ratify my decree as you wish, Baron. At ease. You will have him removed from his cell at night, driven through Rome in a sealed carriage, and taken to Naples. Now, how soon is the order to be carried out? Within the next three days. I've timed it to a nicety. Angelotti will arrive in Naples for his execution exactly one year after his acts of treason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the execution will take place in the market square. It's only fitting that a traitor should die on the spot where he first declared his treachery against the monarchy. Indeed, Baron, indeed. <laughs> Enter. Yes, Captain Spoletta. A lady to see you, sir, the Marchesa Atavante. Angelotti's sister. Tell her I'm not here. She seemed very agitated, sir. She implored me to let her in. Tell her she's wasting her time. Very well, sir. <laughs> A foolish woman, Sharone. A great beauty, but oh, so foolish. <laughs> she keeps on calling. And until the day, I kept on seeing her. I'm a reasonable man, you know. I made it plain to her that I was prepared to be reasonable about her brother. Oh? If she would reciprocate. But <laughs> not she. <laughs> <laughs> what can a man do if a woman won't be reasonable? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly right. Ah, oh, it's so peaceful here. No guides, no English visitors, no worshippers, eh? no organ music. A perfect studio. What was that? Signor? I heard someone move. I thought it came from the Angelotti Chapel. Impossible, Signor. The church is empty except for us. You're quite sure? Quite sure. Father Eusebius asked me to tell you to bolt the door after I leave. May I go now, Signor? Ah, yes, yes. Off you go. Let me paint in peace. Oh, alas, I can do some painting, some real work. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, not sure of those folds of her dress. No, her hair was even fairer than I read it. I have to put that right. Hello? 
Well, who the devil are you? Shh. Please. Are we alone? Yes. Who are you? Well, you look like a, a fugitive. I am. But not in your eyes, I hope. Huh? I've escaped from the Castle St. Angelo. I see. Why were you in prison? I was a deputy in the Roman Republic. Till it was overthrown by the monarchy. You'll find my name on every list of proscribed persons. Cesare Angelotti? Yes. Wait. Let me bolt the doors. I had to be careful, but I was right about you. How did you manage to hide in the church? Oh, for God's sake, give me a drink and I'll tell you everything. Well, of course, here. Yeah. Ah, thank you. <sighs> oh, that's better. Good. There's some food in the basket. Help yourself. Oh, thank you. Are you sure we're alone? Oh, yes, the church is empty. The doors are bolted. The sacristan himself can only get in if I let him. No one will be here for two hours at least. Oh, good. Well, now tell me how you escaped. Mm. Well, I can't claim the credit myself. It was my sister, the Marchesa Atavanti. Marchesa Atavanti? Mm. Do you know her? Oh, only by sight. Mm. She arranged everything. Yesterday, at twilight, my jailer brought these clothes to my cell. My sister had won him over. Mm. He took off my chains, left the door unlocked. The Castel St. Angelo is being repaired after the French occupation. Yeah, yeah. So I was able to mingle with the workmen and get away. Huh? But the gates of the city are closed from sunset to sunrise. So I had to find a hiding place till morning. Well, couldn't your sister have hidden you? <laughs> no. My husband is fanatically royalist. Oh, I see. <sighs> It was my family who founded this church, you know. We have our own private chapel, yeah. My sister has the key. Yesterday, she left some women's clothes here. Uh -huh. A veil, and a cloak, even a fan so that I could hide my face. <laughs> and a razor and scissors. Trebelli, the jailer who helped me to escape, gave me the key. I slipped into the chapel before the doors of the church were shut. Spent the night there, and it was as soon as it was light, I... I cut my hair and shaved. I was uh, expecting Trebelli this morning. He should have been here with a carriage during early mass. I was going to disguise myself and go off with him to Frascati. My sister's waiting there. She's made all the arrangements to get me outside the boundaries of the city. But Trebelli hasn't arrived. And he, if he's been arrested, and if he opens no, his no, mouth... Then you'd have been arrested, too. If they discovered your escape, the canon of the Castle St. Angelo would have thundered the news all over the city. Ah. But where is Trebelli? What kind of happened? Oh, that's probably a very simple reason. Yes, but I'm... Look, take my advice. Wait here. If you try to go now, you'll attract attention. But there are women meeting outside, children playing. Stay here till the church is open for worship again. You'll be able to leave quite openly then by the main door. I mean, in the coming and going, no one will notice you. Uh. Look, if Trebelli hasn't put in an appearance by then, I promise you I'll take his place. Would you? Of course. Well, I understand now why your sister was in church here yesterday. Oh. You saw her long enough to capture her beauty on this canvas. Look. Oh. But it's remarkable. Well, I had a remarkable subject. It was her devotion and affection that sustained me while I was in jail. We must see to it that you're a free man from now on. I escaped just in time. A new chief of police has been appointed. I know, Baron Scarpi. Yeah. With his smiles, his genuflections, his demonstrations of piety. Yes. My sister went to see him to ask for a pardon for me. Yes? She had to fight her way out of his clutches. She knew then that if I was to get out of that prison alive, the only way was to escape. Scorpio must have known something was in the wind. Mm. He made his own plans. In three days' time, signore, I was to be taken to Naples and hanged there. But whatever happens, I shall deprive Baron Scarpia of that pleasure. You see this ring? Yes. There's a capsule of cyanide inside the band. Yeah. 
Scarpia might capture me, but he'll never send me to the gallows. What was that? Now listen. And it's only the children outside. Oh. Oh. Do you know, Signore, I, I don't even know your name. Oh, of course not. Mario Cavaradossi. Ah. My father was Nicholas Cavaradossi, a Roman like yourself. Mm -hmm. He spent most of his life in Paris. His sympathies were with the revolutionaries. I studied there. After the death of my parents, I went on living there. David himself taught me to paint. David? <laughs> the artist of the revolution? Yes, yes. But why are you in Rome now? Oh, I have certain financial interests here, and I came to protect them. I arrived when the French were leaving by one gate, and the Neapolitan army was moving in by another. Mm. Uh, I stayed on to put my affairs in order. What? A whole year to put your affairs in order? Not only that. I stayed on here because... Oh, a woman. <laughs> Do you know La Tosca? Floria Tosca? Mm. The singer? Yes, yes. Oh. By repute. So, she's the woman. As an artist, she's superb. But as a woman, she's incomparable. Do you know, she, she was just a peasant, minding her father's goats. A wild, exquisite creature. She was found by the Benedictines of Verona. She couldn't even read or write. But they taught her. She learned quickly. Chimorosa heard her sing and wanted her to train for the opera. The Benedictines wouldn't give her up. The whole of Rome took sides. The Pope had to intervene. He heard her sing and was so charmed that he gave her freedom. You're free, he told her. You will melt all hearts just as you've melted mine. And that's another way of praying to God. Since then, she's triumphed everywhere. There's no one but La Tosca. From my point of view, Floria only has one fault. Yes? She's insanely jealous. <laughs> but there you are, you can't have everything. I I've stayed here because of her. Believe me, it hasn't been easy. Why not? All the authorities here are suspicious. I took no part in your revolution, but they know all about my father's history in Paris. And they know how much I admire my teacher, David. Now, what's more, I dress like a Frenchman. I wear my hair like a liberal, and my beard proclaims me a free thinker. <laughs> Scarpia would have had me removed from the country if I hadn't hit on a plan before he was appointed. What was that? Well, I managed to extract permission to paint these frescoes, and uh, the storm was calm. Yeah. I'm safe till Floria goes to Venice. She's singing there next season. And then we shall be free. Is she singing in Rome now? Oh, she's rehearsing. She'd have been here with me except for that. <laughs> but it's just as well. Why? Well, we couldn't have talked as we have if she'd been here. The only woman who's really discreet is the one who knows nothing. <laughs> and even she... <laughs> it's, it's Floria. Yes, yes, here I am. You must hide. I'll go back to the chat. Yes, yes. Just a moment, be patient, I'm coming. Ah, Tosca. Why did you take so long? Well, I had to get down from the scaffolding there. You didn't give me much time, did you? Did you have to unlock the door yourself? Oh, yes. Uh, Father Eusebius the sacristan prefers it that way. Oh, hasn't Gennarino yet? No, I gave him the afternoon off. What are you looking for? Who am I looking for, you mean? Hmm? Who are you talking to? I wasn't talking to anybody. I was humming to myself. You weren't talking. I heard you. Oh, nonsense. Who do you suppose would be here at this time of day? Oh, some old maid who's in love with you. No, my dearest, don't let's quarrel. I'm not going to quarrel. Good. Mmm, what beautiful flowers you brought. No, they're not for you. They're for the Madonna. Ah. Ah, there. Oh, Mario, darling, mm. we can't meet tonight after all. Why not? Because we have had a great victory over Napoleon Bonaparte. Ah, have we? I wonder. Yes, we have. And there are celebrations at the Palazzo Farnese tonight. There's a concert and I'm singing. But after the concert? There's a ball. And you're dancing? No, but there's a supper. And you're supping? Well, yes. Queen Marie Caroline expressed a wish I should be there. Oh, what a compliment. But they won't be having supper till the early hours of the morning. So we can't see each other till about midday. Mm, so it seems... Oh, you don't seem to mind very much. Why do you say that? You've taken it so calmly. Who is that woman you're painting? Which woman? There, there, the fair-haired one. Oh, it's Mary Magdalene. 
What do you think about them? Mm, much too pretty. <laughs> I don't like you to paint such pretty women. Oh, if you're going to get jealous of the women I paint, I might as well Oh, I know what goes on between you and those women. Oh, who? <laughs> <laughs> what does go on? Sooner have you painted their eyes than you say, oh, what beautiful eyes you've got. Ah, yes. And the moment you've done their mouths, you say, oh, mm, what a delicious little mouth. I could bite it. And then... Yes? Uh, I know who that woman is. Mm -hmm. It's La Cavanti. Well, you guess. Ah, so you know her, do you? Well, I do. You don't call believe. on her and tell me, do you visit her? Or do you go to her home? Oh, or does I... she come here? Or does she, she go to she your home? Now, don't lie to me. What can I say? Tell me, tell me at once. I will if you let me get a word in. I saw her here. Ah. Uh, just once, yesterday, quite by chance. Oh, by chance, mm. I see, by chance. Well? <laughs> she came in while I was painting. She knelt down, there, just where you are now, with her golden hair and her beautiful eyes raised to heaven. Mm, her beautiful eyes, just what I said. Eh, she was like a dream of Mary Magdalene. I put her onto canvas, there and then. She doesn't even know. And I never said a word to her. Oh, why paint her, Mary? Why not me? Oh. Wouldn't I be a golden Magdalene? Uh, no, my darling, you wouldn't. No one could say you had a saintly look about you. <laughs> Especially at the moment. Oh, well, how saintly is she? A woman who deceives her husband huh? and goes about quite openly with her lover. Oh, he's not her lover. Oh. A friend, a confidant, if you like, but not her lover. Everyone knows it, even her husband. Well, I have no husband and I have no confidant. Thank God I don't need one. But I have a lover. He's the only man I love, and he means everything to me. And I'm not afraid to admit it. And I love you too, my darling, mm. don't I? And no one but you. Oh. Mm. 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 La Cavanti would do better to reform that scoundrel of a brother. A scoundrel? Oh, you defend him, naturally. But what is he? An enemy of the king, to say nothing of the pope. An atheist, that's what he is. Gloria, darling, really? Oh, yes, he is, and you know it. You know what Father Carafa told me about you? I can imagine. I'm a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I drink human blood. <laughs> You're a heathen. I prayed oh, for you. Sorry, but, uh, the darling of my heart. Father Carafa says our liaison is an abomination. Good heavens, as bad as that. Yes. And I told him I didn't care. <laughs> but if I were to die suddenly. <laughs> hell would be gaping right in front of you. That's what Father Carafa said. And I said I wouldn't care about that either. Mm. If my mm. Mario were by my side. Oh, I would be, without doubt. Mm. I think it would work mm. out quite well. Mm, of course it would. Um, thanks to the Madonna. Mm. She understands everything. Mm. <laughs> what? 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 my maid, I expect. Luciana? Yes, signora. Oh, what's the matter? A letter from the maestro. It's urgent. Oh, mm. Yes, signora. Oh, what does that old fool want now? Hmm. Divine Tosca, in order to celebrate our resounding victory over the French army commanded by General Bonaparte on the plains of Marengo near Alessandria and Piedmont. Oh, yeah, let me have it. Oh. Her Majesty has ordered prayers of thanksgiving in the church. I have been inspired to compose a cantata in honor of this great occasion. Oh, the old charlatan. I need hardly add, dear diva, that the merit of my new work will be enhanced 100-fold by your magical voice at the Palazzo Farnese tonight. The singers and musicians have been summoned. We are all waiting on you. You can't refuse. No. No, I can't. It's really an order from the Queen. But I'm not happy at leaving you for his tiresome old cantata. What will you do without me this evening? Oh, go on working till it gets dark. And then? Have some food and uh, go home to bed. And tomorrow morning? <laughs> tomorrow morning. Um, we'll meet at midday. Why so late? So that you can get a good night's sleep. That's what you arranged, wasn't it? Oh, I don't need as much sleep as that. I want you to wake me up. <laughs> Agreed. Mm. There. Till tomorrow. Now, Wait. What's the matter now? That picture you're painting. Mm -hmm. Give her dark eyes. She'll be just as much a Mary Magdalene as dark eyes. <laughs> if you want me to. I do. If you give her dark eyes, she won't remind you of La Cavanti. I promise. Mm -hmm. Till you wake. <laughs>
me, my love. Till I wake you, my love. And don't forget, hmm? she's to have dark eyes. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, come along, Luciana. Oh, oh yes, senor. Come along, yes, Luciana. Really? You can come out now, Angelotti. You heard the news about Marengo? Yes. It looks like the end of everything. Yeah. The whole town will be celebrating. We must get away before the city gates are closed. Without waiting for Trebelli. Oh, yes. What was that? It's the signal. They found out about your escape. It might be a salvo to celebrate the... No, no, no. We must get away now. Put on your disguise. Go out by the wrought iron door and keep to this side of the church in the shadow. Yes. I'll go the other way to the main door. I'll wait for you there. Who is it? It's the sacristan, Father Eusebius. Just a moment. I'll go to the chapel. Yes, quick. Yes, Father. What is it? Did your excellency hear? Uh, hear what? The cannon? Yes. Oh, I couldn't help hearing them there, celebrating the victory, aren't they? Yes, and I must prepare for the Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh, also, someone has escaped from the Castel San Angelo. Oh, indeed. Your Excellency! Your Excellency! Yes, Signorino! Your Excellency, Angelotti has escaped. Angelotti, that blackguard! There's a reward for anyone who delivers him up. A thousand piastres, and it's the gallows for anyone who gives him shelter. And that's too lenient. Is my carriage Yes, here? Your Excellency, it's waiting. Yes, take it round to the square by the main entrance, then come back here, put my things in order. Off you go. Uh, yes, So, Your Excellency had already heard of the victory of Marengo. Hmm? Mm, yes, yes, I have. Are you looking for someone? Yes, a friend. I thought I saw him over there in the crowd. He must have gone out again. Well, that's all for today. Thank you, Father. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, uh, Signore. Uh, Father Giuliano. Yes, Father Eusebius. Fetch more candles from the sacristy. Yes, yes, Father, of course. Father, you say this. What is it now, Generino? Baron Scarpia is here. What? The chief of police? Two other officers are with him. Well, uh, be off with you. Oh, and uh, tell Father Giuliano to see that the choir gets ready quickly. Yes, Father. Uh, tell them it's double pay. Yes, Father. Look where you're going, boy. Oh, the uproar. I am respect for the church. Oh, the great rejoicing, Your Excellency. We're getting ready for the Thanksgiving. Are you the sacristan? Yes, Baron. Uh, Father Eusebius is my name. The criminal has escaped from the Castel San Angelo. He spent the night in this church. He may still be here. No, no. Here. Guard all the doors. Search the church. Try to do it without attracting attention. Where's the Angelotti Chapel? On this side. Uh, just there. Search it, Cherami. Yes, Baron. Nobody, sir. Gone. But we found this fan. Let me see it. Oh, there's a crest on it. The Atabanti crest. Mm. I must have forgotten it in his hurry. Or decided it was unnecessary. Anything else? No, nope, that's all, sir. Got away disguised. But where to and who helped him? Father, you will save us. You open and close the church yourself. Yes, Baron. Or except this door. Why not this door? The painter who's working at this picture closes it. And who is the painter? Mario Cavaradossi. Oh, yes, Cavaradossi. We're getting warmer. Cavaradossi, a free thinker like his father. <laughs> you, boy, what are you doing with that basket? It's a basket I use for my master's food. And who is your master? Signor Cavaradossi. What's in the basket? It's empty. Let me see. Yes, it's empty. Does your master always do so much justice to your provisions? No, sir. It's the first time. Tell me, Father Eusebius, was Signor Cavaradossi here when you came back? Yes, Baron. He's only just left. Was he always alone when he was working here? Usually, except for the visits of a certain lady. La Tosca? Yes. And she's been here during the last hour. She must have brought the flowers. They weren't here when I left. But she is faithful to the king and church. Missed our quarry by inches. But not for long. Angelotti will soon be hanging from the highest gallows in the city. Mm. 
Now let us too pray to the Madonna who has given us victory in the field and who will bless our efforts in the war we are waging against the heathen. De eternum patrim, omnia terra venerata. of Her Catholic Majesty, Mary Caroline, gives an added sparkle to our celebrations. Indeed, you are right, my dear Signor Capriola. You know, I like the informality here at the Palazzo Farnese. That's a very saucy game they are playing over there. Uh, which one? Where the men pick up their cards from the ladies' knees. <laughs> <laughs> An old one, Monsieur le Vicomte. They say it was invented by Michelangelo. Tiens? <laughs> Uh, here's Princess Olonia, ah. Dame de la Reine. Uh, Your Highness, and I present Monsieur le Vicomte de Trevillac, an émigré from France. Soyez le bienvenu, Monsieur. Enchanté, Madame la Princesse. Uh, here is tonight's program, Your Highness. Ah. Maestro Paziello promises us a new cantata, does he not? Uh, yes, I'm afraid so, Your Highness. <laughs> but it's going to be sung by La Tosca. Ah. Uh, whom do you know here, Monsieur? Hardly anyone, Your Highness. Well, now, who is the nearest oh, person? Ah, yes. The little fat man is the Marchesa Atavanti. Ah. <laughs> Not much to look at, is he? But <laughs> his wife is the most beautiful woman in Rome. Then I should much rather meet the wife. <laughs> oh, in good time. The man talking to him is the Visconti Trivulci. He is uh, Atavanti's wife's uh, escort. Uh, do you mean her lover? No. <laughs> her admirer, her servant, if you like, but not her lover. Ah, uh, uh, oh, my dear Marchese Atavanti. Your Highness. I was just trying to explain to Monsieur de Trevillac the difference between a lover and an admirer. Oh, no, there's a considerable difference. A lover is a person who insinuates himself into the home in secret. Uh. And the admirer... <laughs> He's an official gallant, duly authorized to be an escort in the he's, he's always a man of discretion. I shall understand in time. Oh, it's, it's very practical. Oh, yes. There's not a menage in existence when a wife will deprive herself of the attentions of a handsome gallant. So why struggle against it? <laughs> Isn't it better to accept the facts and to use them for your own advantage? Oh, certainly. certainly. But uh, don't leave it to the wife to choose the man. No, no. No, it's risky. She may take up with some useless non-entity. No, no, no. Make her own choice. Someone rich, well-connected, influential. And what's the result? Pleasure and profit for all concerned. Admirable, lady. And now you know, monsieur. Indeed, indeed. Yes. Tell me, Marquise. Your Highness. Where is your wife? I can't see her anywhere. Well, I don't think she's in Rome at the moment, Your Highness. But Trivulce will know. Ah, yes. Trivulce. You want me, Atavanti? Yes. A highness wants to know where my wife is. The Marchese Atavanti is in Frascati, Your Highness. Yes. On holiday? Oh, no. You've heard about her brother's escape. Of course. The Marchesa thought it would not be decorous for her to appear here tonight. Oh. I have apologized to her majesty. If you knew how to behave, Trivulce, you'd go to Frascati at once and bring my wife back here so that she can dissociate herself from her brother's escapades. If you knew anything about your wife, you'd know it would be a waste of time. Rubbish. And if you knew anything about me, you'd know I have tried already. Well, nonsense. She wouldn't come. What you mean is you have no influence over my wife. Really? You're making yourself ridiculous, man. Now look here, ridiculous. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen. Uh, Never highness. mind. We all know now that the Marchesa Atavanti is in Frascati. Yes. <laughs> Now, I have some important news about the war. Uh -huh. Admiral Nelson is at Malta. Uh, good, good. The English are occupying the island uh, temporarily, of course. If you're hoping they will ever move out again. In my I'm opinion, the war is as good as over. Bonaparte is beaten. <laughs> ah. Uh. 
here is Baron Scarpia. Your Highness. Any news of Angelotti, Baron? Not yet, Your Highness. Oh, too bad. Will you join us in a game of faro, Your Highness? Yes. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, good. And you good. come too, Monsieur de Trevillac. Ah, thank you. And you, a uh, favor. Uh, your Highness. That's how you are. I really apologize. Now, now, which are Let's go into the garden where we can talk. Now. Well, Baron? We've drawn a blank. Ah. We've searched the Palazzo Cavaradossi. It's empty. And Gelotti's with Cavaradossi somewhere. That's clear. Mm. Where? Where? Mm, the man shrewd. He knows he's suspect and he's lying low. And La Tosca? She went home after the rehearsal, had some food alone, and has just returned to the palace. And the Marchesa Atavanti? In Frascati. We're having her watched. Good. Do you really think Tosca is ignorant of what's happening? She's here now. And coming this way, so we'll find out. Uh -huh. Leave her to me. You'd better go. Very well, sir. Good evening. Ah. Good evening, Baron. Have you seen Her Majesty yet? No, my dear Tosca. Well, what news of the fugitive? Are you interested in him? Of course. Poor wretch. An enemy of the state? You really sorry for him, a scoundrel like that? A man who's on the run is someone to be pitied. If he knocked at your door, would you let him in? Naturally. Do you realize that you would be risking that pretty head of yours? <laughs> that only makes it more exciting. Oh, my dear, that is either ignorance or bravado. <laughs> uh, there's Her Majesty now. Will you take my arm? Oh, very well. Ladies and gentlemen, Her Most Catholic Majesty, Queen Marie Caroline. Here is the program for tonight, Your Majesty. Thank you, Capriola. Ah, here is Tosca. Oh, Your Majesty. Well, are you in the good voice tonight, my dear Tosca? I shall do my best not to displease your majesty. <laughs> and Baron Scapia? Your majesty. What news of Angelotti, Baron? All we know at present, your majesty, is that he's still in Rome. Is that all you know? Take care, Baron. This episode could be the end of you. You have many enemies. The same enemies as your majesty. Angelotti? had been in prison a year without incident. He escaped a week after your appointment. Is that an accusation, Your Majesty? His sister is rich and beautiful. Does Your Majesty believe that I connived at his escape? You are the person to answer that. Find Angelotti. I intend to do that tonight. I think you had better, for your own sake. Your Majesty, listen to the people. They're telling you how much they love you. Ah, I shall show myself on the balcony. My dear good people. Her Majesty seems out of temper with you, Baron. <laughs> if Angelotti escapes, I'll be the one to go to the gallows. Oh. <laughs> what can I do? Of course, there's La Tosca. Hmm? I can't start with La Tosca, can't I, my dear? If she knows anything, I can make her tell me. If she knows nothing, I can make her find out. I could do that, couldn't I? Yes, I suppose you could. To begin with, I could put handcuffs round this pretty hand of yours what? and send you to the Castel Sant'Angelo. Could you? Why? For wearing the colors of our enemies. I don't know what you're talking about. Your bracelet 
rubies, diamonds, and sapphires, the trickler of the French Revolution. Oh, so they are. I never realized it. Never mind. No one else will have noticed. And your devotion to the church and the king is a byword, unfortunately. Why, unfortunately? It would be such a pleasure to have you as my prisoner. Not for me, Baron. No. You would prefer to be in the arms of your painter. So you know. It's my business to know. I make no secret of it. He's very charming, this Frenchman of yours, isn't he? French? He's a Roman. I meant French in his opinions. How could a right-thinking person like you exchange three words with him without scratching his eyes out? The three words would be, I love you. <laughs> Enchanting. But take my advice and don't trust a man who believes in nothing. He believes in me, Baron Scarpia. Are you quite sure? Quite sure. In that case... Hmm? Mm. Oh, never mind. You uh, know something? No. No, nothing at all. Well, what is it? You do know something. Well, tell me, oh, what nothing, is it? Nothing, nothing. Believe me, it's nothing. Your painter adores you and he's faithful to you. He shouldn't find it difficult. I agree. Oh, well, that reminds me. Here's your fan. My fan? Yes. I found it in the church of Sant'Andrea. I had to go there today. Caparadossi had just left. What time was that? About two in the afternoon. He said he was going to be there till dark. Well, he certainly wasn't there. Out of curiosity, I looked at his work. I found this fan by his stool. I thought I'd better return it to you in case it was stolen. <coughs> What's the matter? Well, this fan isn't mine. Oh, it must be. I tell you, it's not mine. Oh, the clumsy fool I am. What have I done? Who does it belong to? There's a crest on it. So there is. It's a crest I know, too, but I just can't associate Who's is it, it with... Uh, trying to think. Marchesa... Marchesa... The Marchesa Atavanti? Is it? Surely not. Yes, that's who it is. She must have come in after I left. She was there today. Today? No, no. Not after I left. She was there when I arrived. She must have hidden herself. All that delay in opening the door, the, the whisperings, his anxiety to see me go. Oh, I see it all now. She was there all the time. She saw me. She heard everything I said to him. And when I left, she threw herself into his arms. They were laughing at me. Oh, but... Laughing at me, I tell you. But are you sure you might be mistaken? Mistaken? And... You'll see if I'm mistaken. Where is that Avanti? Ah, there he is. Marchese! Diva! Marchese, do you recognize this fan? Well, I've never seen it in my life before. It was left in the church of Sant'Andrea. I thought it might belong to your wife. To my wife? Yes. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. I'm only a husband, you know. But Travulce will know. Travulce. Yes, Atavante. Do you recognize this fan? Oh, yes, it's your wife. Ah. Are you sure? <laughs> Quite sure. Well, if you say so. Is that all? It is all for you. Where is your wife, Marchese? I want to return her fan to her. Across her face. Oh, no, 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 no. Please. You mustn't do that. I want to do dear. it in front of everybody. In front of the Queen. Why not? The Queen will understand if anyone will. Oh, your voice, please. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of, Baron. My wife isn't here. She's gone to Frascati. Ah, you mean she's pretending to be in Frascati and she's with him. With who? Yes, with him. But uh, I don't understand. <laughs> They're dining there now. There? Yes. But where is there? I won't tell you. Oh. You're trying to find out so that you can warn them. No, no, I give you my word. This isn't a matter for the police. It's a matter for me. Oh, my dear. Let me go. But what about the concert? Don't the devil with the concert. Oh, really? What a scandal. I don't care whether there's a scandal or but not. Steve, uh, but what excuse won't... am I to make to the Queen? Oh, tell her I'm ill. I have a throat. Tell her anything you like. But the Queen won't understand. Don't tell her my lover's deceiving me. She'll understand that. Oscar, have you gone mad? Let me go, will you? No. And I'm not speaking as a friend now. I'm speaking as chief of police. You're under arrest. What? Are you an accomplice of that imbecile's wife? Oh, really, Signora? If you're referring to me, I'd like you to know... I'm that doing I'm... my duty and making you do yours. You'll stay here and sing that cantata... I can't. Or... I can't. Uh, I'm not well enough. I don't care whether you sing well or not, but sing you must. No, no, no. When no. it's over, I'll allow you to go. To them. 
I'll help you. Is that a promise? Yes, I swear it. Very well, then. Let's start now. Uh, gently, my dear, gently. <laughs> but to deceive me like this, is it possible? Is it possible? <laughs> Calm, calm, Diva. You must be brave. I know you can. <laughs> Together now, having supper. They may have finished already. Do you think they've finished? Oh, more than likely. It's rather late, isn't it? And here I am, preparing to sing an idiotic cantata while they... <laughs> There's the Queen returning. Be patient. All be over in the quarter of an hour. Now, come, my dear. Dry your eyes. <laughs> Oh. Maestro Pagiello, may we begin? Um, are you ready, Diva? Yes, yes. What are we waiting for? We. She's talking to the Prince of Aragon. Well, why doesn't she stop? Why doesn't she sit down? Sit out, for pity's sake. <laughs> there, she's sitting down. Oh, at last. Maestro, you may begin. Uh, good. Diva. Yes. Largo, Largo. Don't be so irritating. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. It's nerves. Now, let's begin. Signore. Stop! Stop! Basta! Stop! Basta! It was the courier. He had a letter with him. What now? Are we going on or not? It's a letter from General Millas. For the Queen. Oh, heavens, another delay. Can't you read a letter after the Galata? It's from General Melas, I tell you. Got to understand. Shh, the Queen. Signore, this should be the fitting climax to our celebration. A letter from the battlefield with the latest details of General Melas's triumph. Ah. I am not going to deprive myself of the pleasure of being the first person to know about our victory. So I shall read the letter myself. <laughs> Alessandria, midnight, 14th, 15th June. Your Majesty, at daybreak, the enemy reinforced by a a new army, after a battle fought throughout the night on the plains of Marengo, completely turned the tables on your majesty's army. <laughs> Our surrender is inevitable. And, uh, oh, the Queen has fainted. Doctor, hurry, hurry. Oh, the soiree must now end. It, it, it must now end. It is with regret, but we must all oh, leave. Listen to the fools out there. They think they've won the war. They always do. What's the matter with everyone? What's happened? Bonaparte has beaten us. Oh, so there won't be any cantata. No, there won't be any cantata. Oh, what a relief. Then I shall leave. Can you understand a person who loses a battle in the morning and wins it at night? Yes, I can. I am going to do the same thing now. Good night. Sharone. Sir. Tell your men to follow her. I'll be behind you in my carriage. Yes, Excellency. Where's Atavanti? Uh, here I am. Well, come with me. What, 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 what for? I can't just leave. The Queen, the Princess. I, I can't. The hunt. What? You'll understand. In you get. Oh. Uh. It's all right now, Angelotti. You can breathe again. Oh. You're perfectly safe here. Oh, thank God. Take her, my caretaker is the soul uh, of discretion. Uh -huh. huh? Come. Uh. Now, as soon as we've had supper, we'll consider the next step. Checo! Yes, Ah, Checo. Is your son here? 
Yes, Your Excellency. Tell him to shut all doors and keep a lookout. Very good, Your Excellency. Ah. Is this Hello. your home? Well, not exactly. Hello. My house is in the heart of the city. This is my little villa, my secret retreat. Uh -huh. No one knows about it except Gloria. Yeah. I come by the most devious routes and no one would dream of looking for me here. <laughs> Certainly not for you. Well, besides, what connection is there between us? <laughs> That's true. But if the worst should happen and they were on your track and discovered that you were here... Look over there. You can see them in the moonlight. Two white marble columns. Yes? And just beyond them are some cypresses and long grass. They conceal an old Roman well. In case of danger, you can hide there. Come, I'll show you how to get into it. What was that? It must be Floria. She's the only person with the key to that door. You seem worried. A little. Go into the garden. I'll find out why she's here. Right. Now, stay out there till I call you. All right. I'll wait. You, Floria. Yes. Me. You mind? Well, what brought you here? Curiosity. I want to see her. Who? Your mistress. Oh, no. <laughs> is that all? Then who is my mistress? Don't laugh at me. Where is she, your Marquesa? Oh, what? Have you still got her on your mind? Whose dress is that? It's hers, isn't it? And that veil. Oh, dear. Now, listen to me. I'll explain everything. And all it... she did was... Oh, nothing else. As a saint, too. Naked. If you'll only but allow me to explain. She's out there in the garden now, isn't she? Why don't you come out? I'm waiting for you. You must be out of your mind. Here. Give her a fan so that she can hide behind it. Little fool, you must be mad. Yes, I must be mad to love a scoundrel like you. You go from me to her and back again to me with her kisses still on your mouth. I For won't... God's sake, give me a chance to speak. You wretch! You wretch! <laughs> Have you finished? No. No, I haven't. Will you allow me to get a word in? No. Look, you're right. The dress does belong to the Marquesa Atabaca. Ah, you admit it. But she didn't leave it here. Somebody used it as a disguise, a fugitive. Her, her brother? He's here. Her brother? Angelotti? Yes. Oh, I love my treasure, my life. Uh, you are telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, of course. Oh, I believe you, Look, darling. Look, you can see him. No, 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 I don't want to. He's over to. there. Come here. You can see him from the window. I don't want to. I told you I believe you. Oh, yes, it's true. He's in the garden. I can see him. So you forgive me? Yes. For all the wrongs you've suffered, thank you very much. Oh, no, it's you who should forgive me. I was so suspicious. But you mustn't be angry with me for, for loving you. If you only loved me half as much. That's right. Start another quarrel now. Oh, no, no, no. I'm too happy. Mm. <laughs> Is that man going to stay here? Angelotti, tonight anyway. We'll try to leave here before dawn. I'll stay too. No, you won't. You're going back to that celebration of the Palazzo Farnese. <laughs> there is no celebration. Bonaparte has beaten us at Marengo. Oh, bravo. Mm, the tables have been turned with a vengeance. You better go straight home. Is your carriage here? I left it down the lane. I wanted to surprise you. What, in the middle of the night on that deserted road? Oh, my coachman is armed. Oh, Cheko's son will take you down the road. When shall I see you again? Tomorrow, after Angelotti is gone. So, so it was this fan that roused your suspicions, was it? Yes. It was part of her brother's disguise. He left it in the church. Well, how was I to know? It, so you went back to the church after I left? No. Then how did you get hold of the fan? What's the matter? They're, they're looking for Angelotti. The police. Oh, of course they are. Scarpia? Yes. Oh, now I understand. It was a trap. What? All that interest he pretended to show in you. It was Angelotti he was interested in. Scarpia? Yes, he gave me the fan. He put the idea into my head. He saw you leave? He must have followed me. Oh, Floria, what have you done? Listen, listen. They're here. Excellency, 
Excellency, there are some men here. Uh, all right, talk to them. Keep them waiting as long as you can. Go yes, on. Yes, Excellency. Angelotti. Yes. They found us. They're here. I get to the well. Quick, quick. The house is around you. Hide. Oh, Mario. The police are everywhere. Baron Scarpia. Yes, indeed. It's always a pleasure to see you, but this is an unusual time for visiting, isn't it? But surely La Tosca told you we were coming. I think you know the Marchese Atavanti and Colonel Sciaroni. Signore. Uh, 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 Signora Tosca had certain suspicions, which she now knows were unjustified. In any case, they were domestic matters which don't concern you. You are mistaken. The Marchese has asked me to investigate what he considers a slur on his honor. He believes that his wife is hiding in your house. I was wrong, Baron. Well, if the diva admits that... I do admit it. I told you so, Baron. Signor Cavaradossi is a gentleman. Let us apologize and go. I'm afraid I can't accept the statements of Signor Cavaradossi, nor those of La Tosca, without further investigation. Oh, why not? For instance, there's this fan. How did it get here? Well, nothing more simple. The Marchesa Atavanti is sitting for her portrait. She's one of the characters in a picture I'm painting at the Church of Sant'Andrea. She left her fan behind. I'm sure that explained everything. I'm perfectly satisfied. Well, I'm not. Can you prove it? Go and take a look at my painting. That should be proof enough. Apart from that, Baron, the Marchesa isn't here. She couldn't have run away with her men guarding every exit, could of she? Of course not. You can search if you like. But you check out, open all the doors, light the way for Baron Scarpia and his men. Yes, yes. Baron, yes. we're wasting our time. You but... may be, but I'm oh, not. Oh, dear me. Signor Cavaradossi wouldn't be so anxious to have us search the house if the person I'm looking for were hidden in it. I'm not staying any longer, Baron. You're at liberty to go whenever you want to, Marchese. You'll probably find your wife at home. She would never have been rash enough to come here with her brother. Uh, her brother? Here? Look at Signor Cavaradossi's face. He can't hide the truth. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. I think we understand each other very well. You'd better go now, Atavanti. I think I had. Oh, and if you care to call on Her Majesty on your way home... I certainly, I will. You can tell her that your brother-in-law has been found and arrested. Thank you very much, Baron. But you can make that announcement yourself. You've already involved me in an incident which where a husband is in the worst possible taste. I feel quite ashamed. Diva, signore, my apologies to both of you. A check will see the Marchese to his carriage. I shan't need you again. Very good, Your Excellency. Gloria, for God's sake, be careful what you say. He'll get nothing from me, I promise you. Now we're going to find out what really matters. And Signor Cavaradossi will tell us. I can tell you straight away. Angelotti is not in this house. We won't prolong the discussion. We'll go into the next room. Mm -hmm. My assistant, Captain Spoletta, will interrogate you there. Interrogate me? Why not here? Because I say so. But there is another reason. I do not wish La Tosca to be present at your interrogation. La Tosca knows no more than I do. We shall see. You want me to conduct the interrogation, sir? Yes. In the usual way. You will stop or continue according to the orders I give. My orders will depend on the answers given me by Signora Tosca here. Yes, sir. Into that room, Signor. There's no need to use force in my own house. I'm going. You may follow me, Signore. Geroni, stand at the door. Yes, Baron. Baron Scarpia, did you say... Depending on my answer. Yes, Diva, I did. But how can I answer questions when I know nothing about the facts? This is all going to be very friendly, Diva. No. Let me sit here by your side and we'll continue where we left off at the Palazzo Farnese. So this fan misled us. And all your suspicions were unfounded. You know they were. You knew it all the time. I was wrong about the person, that's all. The Marchesa wasn't here. It was her brother. He wasn't here either. Signor Cavaradossi was alone when I arrived. Really? Yes, really. Are you quite certain? Quite certain. Spoletta! Sir? What has Signor Cavaradossi told you? Nothing yet. He still denies that Angelotti is hiding here? Yes. 
Well, insist. Insist. <laughs> However much you insisted, it can't make him tell you what didn't happen. My dear Diva, I'd foreseen the fact that Signor Cavaradossi would be stubborn, but I expected to find you more reasonable. <laughs> you want me to lie just to fit in with your ideas? No. But by telling the truth, you'd spare your lover an uncomfortable quarter of an hour. What do you mean? What's going on in that room? There's something quite simple. He's being interrogated according to custom. I want to see what's happening in there. I can tell you. Your lover is seated on a comfortable chair. His arms and hands are tied. What? His head is encased in a steel band. And the band has three prongs, <laughs> one at the nape of the neck and one at each temple. Oh, and no. every time he refuses to answer a question, a screw is turned and the prongs do their work. No, no, no. Will you speak? Make them stop. Make them stop. Stop! Follow them. Loosen the screw. Yes, sir. <laughs> Have they loosened it, Charlie? As far as it will go, Now, well, we've done what you asked. You cowards! You cowards! Let me see him! Let me go in there! Close the door, Sharon. No, you must give him time to recover. Mario! Mario! You devil, Garbia, you devil! They're torturing him and you stand there smiling! I'm smiling because of you, my dear. Oh, Your no. tragedy is just as convincing in real life as it is on the stage. My congratulations, Diva. No. But let's get back to serious things. He'd rather die than give anything away. That remains to be seen. You'll find out nothing, I tell you. I'll find out everything. He will be questioned and you will answer. I? Yes, you. And remember, every time you refuse to answer, you'll be responsible for one more turn of the screw. Open the door, Sharon. Baron. Get ready, Spoletta. Ready, sir. We're starting all over again. Colonel Sharon will give you the signal. Ready, Baron. Murderer! Where is Angelotti? I don't know. I don't know. How should I know? All right, Sharoni. No! No! Wait! Wait! Give me time. Well, what were you going to tell me? Tell me what to say. I'll say whatever you like. Go and tell me. There was a man here when you arrived, wasn't no, there? No, no. Sharoni! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Yes, yes, yes. I believe. I, I, I believe. Who oh, shot the toy? He must be. Close the door, Sharon. Yes, Baron. Was that man Angelotti? No. By which you mean yes. I tell you no. You're protesting rather strongly, my dear. You mean yes. I mean no. I don't know Angelotti. I don't know what he looks like. I've, I've never seen him in my life. Very well. This man, whoever he is, where is he? Oh, you'll have to hurry if you're to find him. He must be miles away by now. Impossible. The place was surrounded soon after you arrived. Well, if you won't believe anything, I'll tell you. Mario! Sharoni? I'm afraid he's faked him. So Angelotti is hiding somewhere. Quite near, perhaps. I wish he were. He'd never let you torture the man who saved him. So your lover saved Angelotti, did he? No. But you just said he did. I didn't know what I was saying. You forced me to speak. I, I, I said whatever came into my head. So he's hiding no. here. Where is he? No. Come on, let's finish. I don't know. Open the door, Sharon. Sharon. How's the prisoner? He seems well enough. Keep the door open. There, my dear. You can see him from here. Mario! Can you hear me? Oh, darling, Mario, I, I can't go on any longer than I can do. I want it, but I can't. Tell me you want me to speak. What can you tell him? Uh, He's not done anything. What can you 
Angelotti. I tell him, I tell him everything. Well, he, he, he's out there in the garden. The garden. The well. The well. Go on, Sharoni. The well. Uh, take as many men as you can. Stop now, Spoleto. Untie him. Bring him in here. Oh, Mario. Mario. Yeah, he is, Stephen. Oh, oh, darling, my angel. Oh. <laughs> didn't tell him. Oh. Did you? Oh. I didn't. Did I? No, no. Nothing. 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 Uh. Well, Sharoni, we found him at last. He's dead. Dead? He poisoned himself. The body's here. Who's dead? I want to see. Angelotti! You told them, Flori. You, you, you've killed him. I did it to save you. We can't waste any more time. Take them away. Take the dead man to the mortuary and his accomplice to the gallows. And the woman? No. The woman, too. No. Open the window, Sharon. Stifling in here. Hmm. What time is it? They have finished matins, Your Excellency. The town seems very quiet. It is very quiet, Your Excellency. The governor has doubled the guards and the whole garrison is under arms. Is the prisoner in the chapel? Yes. He thought he was going to the gallows. You know, the gallows is the next move, my dear Sharoni. Mm. The Cabaradossi, anyway. <laughs> How's he getting on with the priest? <laughs> Not at all. He refused to ask for extreme unction. He says he did his duty trying to help a victim of tyranny, and he doesn't regard that as a crime. <laughs> Fine sentiments. <laughs> what then? The priest took his leave, and the prisoner settled down and went to sleep. He did, did he? Well, Signor Cavaradossi is going to sleep forever, very soon. He's <laughs> going to be executed before sunrise. Yes. And we must never let it be known that Angelotti cheated us by taking poison. And the corpse is to be hanged in public. Ah. Is the scaffold ready? It's being put up now near the bridge. Uh, you can see it from this balcony. Oh, yes. Uh, leave the body on view till high mass. Ah, yes. After that, you can bury it in a ditch somewhere. And no cross on the grave. Whatever you say, Baron. Where's the woman? No, she's still under lock and key. How is she? Much calmer now. Send her in. Baron. Spoletta, you'd better go and string up the corpse. I'll call you when I want you. Of course, sir. Signora Tosca, Your Excellency. You look a little bewildered, my dear. That's understandable, of course. Oh. You don't even know where you are. No. Well, I'm going to tell you. You're in the Castel Sant'Angelo. So is Signor Cavaradossi. You've had a trying night, so you just let me entertain you. Supper is ready when you are. 
It's a plain meal, but wholesome. No poison. We don't use it anymore. But you still cut people's throats, don't you? They're only murderers. <laughs> Rebels and their accomplices are shot or hanged. I make the decision. You didn't think Signor Cavaradossi would be given a trial, did you? Not a fair trial. Well, he won't be given one at all. Because her Catholic Majesty has simplified the procedure. I'm here and look from the balcony towards the bridge. There's so many torches, you can't help seeing it. They're preparing a double scaffold. On one side, we're going to hang a dead man. Angelotti. On the other, we're going to hang... Mario. Yes. <laughs> Whether you join him or not will depend on me. And I'm not the person to deprive the Romans of their idol. He's my idol, too. Diva, the doors are open. You are free. No, oh. oh, no, wait. I know what you're thinking. This is what you're saying to yourself. I'll run straight to the Palazzo Farnese. I'll force my way into the Queen's presence. And I'll make her give me a pardon for my lover. Isn't that so? Of course it is. The warrant for the execution is here. Unfortunately for you, it must be carried out before sunrise. When the pardon arrives, your lover will already have been dead for an hour. Would you carry out that order if you knew I'd gone to see the Queen? I might. Well, let's drink a glass of wine. We can talk more easily, then. We might even think of a way of getting Cavaradossi out of trouble. How much do you want? Come, come, my dear. I'm afraid you don't understand me in the least. You've seen me being exemplary in the exercise of my duties where honor and my position were endangered. And Gelotti's escape would have meant my disgrace. Now, that's all over and done with. The person you see in front of you now is simply the Baron Scarpia, an ordinary member of your audience. His admiration for you is fanatical. Tonight it has taken on a new character... Until tonight, all I saw in you was the exquisite interpreter of Chimarosa. But tonight you revealed yourself. The woman is more tragic, more passionate than the artist, and a hundred times more admirable in her love and suffering. I've been dazzled to the point of forgetting my own role in this tragedy. I declare myself conquered. Oh, Baron. But I am a jealous victim, Tosca. All those tears for a man who doesn't justify them. The more you plead for him, the stronger is my determination to keep him in my power. I'm jealous of him because he possesses you. And I could only forgive him if I have my share of yours. Monster! The monster will have his way, my dear. I'd rather throw myself from that balcony. If you do, your lover will follow you. Say yes, and I will save him. No. And I will kill him. Never. I'll wake up the whole city and tell the people exactly what you are. That won't waken the dead. And I assure you, your lover will die. You hate me, don't you? More than anyone I've ever known. Splendid. All that contempt, all that anger, it only makes the conquest more pleasurable. What a revenge. That my pleasure should be your suffering. Oh. You're wasting your time. No one will hear you. Look, the sun will rise soon. Your Mario has only a quarter of an hour to live. No, no. Save him. Well? Oh, haven't you had your revenge? You punished me. You humiliated me. Now I'm begging you to forgive me. I'm begging you to humbly forgive me. And you agree? No. No. What is it, Spoletta? It's time, madam. For Cavaradossi? Yes. No, 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 no. You wait. I give you one minute to make up your mind. Is everything ready, Spoletta? Everything, Baron. Well, Diva? Yes. 
Spoletta. Tell the executioner to go and get some sleep. We're not going to hang Signor Cavaradossi. He's to remain where he is. I want him set free. Set free at once. Gently, Tosca, gently. Uh, Spoletta, a moment. It must be done more subtly. Here's the warrant for the execution. Look at it. I'm bound to obey it. All I'm allowed to decide is the manner of the execution. That's going to be our loophole. But to the world at large, it must be given out that Cavaradossi is dead. How do I know that you're going to save him? I'll give the order in your presence now. Spoletta, shut the door. Now, listen carefully. We're not going to hang Cavaradossi. We're going to shoot him on the parapet here, just as we shot Palmieri. I see. <laughs> A pretended execution. Exactly as you did in the case of Palmieri. I understand perfectly, sir. You'll take 12 men of your company. You'll load their rifles yourself with powder only. Yes, sir. You will warn Cavaradossi what is going to happen. When the rifles are fired, he will fall as if he were shot down. You will go through the motions of making sure he is dead... Then, with a cloak to cover him and a hat over his eyes, he will be carried to Signora Tosca's carriage. You will get into it with Cavaradossi. The carriage will take you to the gate. You will have the gate opened on my orders, and when the carriage is safe outside the walls, you will leave it and permit it to go on its way. You understand? Perfectly, sir. I want to see Mario. I want to tell him what's been arranged. Very well. Spoletta, Signora Tosca will be free to leave here whenever she pleases. Have a man posted at the foot of the stairs to take her to Cavaradossi. After her conversation with him, you will proceed with the execution exactly as I have told you. I understand, sir. That's all, then. See that we're not disturbed till I call you. Yes, sir. And now, my dear, let's relax. Will you have some wine now? Or would you prefer some fruit? Nothing, thank you. I'm going to have an apple myself. Won't you? No, hmm. thank you. No, you watch me. Is there a knife there? Where? No, no, never mind. I can reach it. Yeah, let's see. I can peel the whole apple without breaking the skin. You watch. There. All the skin in one long piece. Mm. Come on, my job. Is there anything else? Yes. I want a safe conduct pass after I've left Rome. Hmm. It's reasonable. I write it out here and now. I think I... I will have a glass of wine. Hmm. Help yourself. No. How's this? This warrant gives free passage from the city of Rome and the Roman provinces to Signora Tosca and her companion. Signed... Vitellio Scarpia, Chief of Police. Rope. Now, Oscar, let me have my reward. Yes, sir. Here is your reward. Here! <coughs> Here! You fool! <laughs> A knife! Yes, your own knife! Oh, at last it's done! At last it's done! It's done! You tortured me for a whole night and you enjoyed it. You told me how you enjoyed it. Now it's my turn. Look at me, you murderer! Now oh, you're dying at my feet and I'm enjoying it. Help! No one will hear you. You told me that, too. <laughs> At last. I must be quite sure. The candles... 
dead. Quite dead. No, oh, the warrant. Where is it? I, I must have it. The warrant. There's blood on my dress. A napkin. Water. Ah, that's better. My hair. My hair. So. Dawn already. Better put out the candle. God may have mercy on his soul. A crucifix. I shall have that too. Here on his heart. To think that all Rome feared and hated you! Signore, Signor Capratosi. Oh. Huh. Captain Spoletta. I was having such a peaceful sleep, too. It's time, is it? No, Signore, it's not that. There's someone to see you. If it's one of those sanctimonious priests, tell me he's wasting his time. The priests have gone. Baron Scarpia sent them away. No, this is someone you'll be pleased to see. Signora Tosca? Yes, signore. Oh. Well, let her come in. Gloria. Oh, oh, Gloria. Oh, Mario. Mario, you've forgiven me. Oh, my goodness, it's for you to forgive me. Oh. I was unfair. No. Ungrateful. And now, it's goodbye. Oh, no, it's not goodbye. Oh, my darling, you're in pain. A little. I'll be able to look after you. We'll soon be a long way away from this terrible city. Mm -hmm. You've been reprieved. Reprieved? Yes. By Scarpia? Yes. Isn't that right, Spoletta? But... Baron Scarpia has given me my order, Signore. They oh. accord with everything Signora Tosca has told you. You see. But what are these orders? They'll only pretend to shoot you. The guns will be loaded with powder. Nothing but powder. And, and to make absolutely certain, Captain Spoletta will load them himself. Isn't that true? Absolutely true. They'll take you onto the roof. Uh, the soldiers will fire. You'll fall as though you've been killed. And Captain Spoletta will dismiss his men. We will leave the castle. The gates will be open. We'll step into my carriage and leave together. We'll be free again. Free. Is it possible? But look. Here's our safe conduct. Right to the frontier. Read it. Yes. Yes, and it's signed Scarpia. If you'll take my advice, you won't wait any longer. The sooner we act, the better. I agree. Quickly. Uh, my men are waiting. I'll go and make sure that everything is ready. Then I'll come back for you. Yes, yes, go now. I'm most grateful to you. Lord, how did you manage it? With a knife in his heart. What? You killed him? Yes. But they'll discover the body. Not yet. He gave him explicit orders not to be disturbed. He's resting. He'll go on resting till midday. And by midday we'll be at Chivita Vecchia. And by the time they find him, we'll be miles out at sea. Oh, oh, oh my Florian. You're the most wonderful woman. A true Roman. Are you ready, Signore? Uh, yes. Play your part, Mario. Yes, of course. Now go, quickly. Take your place here, Signore. It's only four hours to Civita Vecchia, and then we'll see the coast of Italy disappear in the distance. Must be on the ramparts by now. No, no. Oh, what do they 
waiting for. They mustn't wait any longer. They'll ruin everything. Oh, I can hardly believe they're going to aim straight at him. Go on, go on. Oh, that's it. It's over. Coat. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, Mario, Mario, Mario. No need for the coup de grace. He's dead. You may go, Sergeant. Signora? Oh, uh, yes. Um, please, see if it's safe for us to go now. Of course, Signora. Mario, Mario, it's Gloria. Don't move yet. There are two soldiers coming with a stretcher out in our way. I don't know why they're here. And, and Spoletta hasn't come back. Stay where you are, did I tell you? Signora? What do you want? We've come for the body. Don't touch him. But our orders are He to... belongs to me. Scarpia gave him to me. They told you, didn't they? Uh, nothing. Senor. Where's Captain Spoletta? Find him for me. He can't have gone far. Go on, both of you. Uh, yes, Signora. Don't move, Mario. Wait till they're gone. Here's your coat. Quickly now, quickly. Mario, why don't you get up? Mario, what's the matter? What's this? Blood? Mario? Mario? No, oh, they killed him! Captain Spoletta? Yes, Signora. And you, Colonel Charone? Signora. You, you murderer! You were supposed to save him. We were ordered to make you believe we would save him. We were ordered to shoot him as we shot Palmieri. That was Baron Scarpia's order. Oh, so that was his order. Well, I can't kill him now. Kill him? I can't kill him again, can I? What, Scarpia? <laughs> I've killed him already. What? With a knife in his heart. Go to His Excellency's room. Yes, yes, yes. Go and see for yourself. You. Go mad. and see what I've done. But suppose she has killed him. <laughs> well, you'll step into his shoes and it'll be the end of her. The yes. end of me. That's what I'm praying for. That you'll never kill me. Angelotti cheated you, so will I. Mario! Mario, I'm coming, Mario! Stop that! Guards! Stop that woman! God in heaven! She's on the parapet! Mario! Mario! La Tosca by Victoria Sardou. Maxine Audley played the part of Floria Tosca. Stephen Murray was Baron Scarpia. And Gary Watson, Mario Cavaradossi. Wolf Morris was Captain Spoletta. And Michael Deacon, Colonel Sharone. John Pullen played the part of Cesare Angelotti. Marie Caroline, Queen of Naples, was played by Griselda Harvey and the Princess Orlonia by Marjorie Westbury. Jill Carey played Luciana, and Hilda Kreisman, Genarino. Father Eusebius and Chaco were played by Brian Haynes. Signor Capriola 
by Anthony Vickers, The Vicomte de Trivillac by Leonard Fenton, The Marchese Atavanti, Peter Baldwin, The Visconti Trivulce, Ian Thompson, and Paisiello by Wilfred Carter. The other parts were played by members of the BBC Drama Repertory Company. The play was translated and adapted for radio by Norman Ginsbury and Jacques Sarch. La Tosca was produced by John Powell.